cool tune. Paul Simon, Simon and Garfunkel, 1968. A Hazy Shade of Winter from uh, Bookend's album. They're pretty much their second to last album. They came out the next year with, uh, or shortly after that, with Bridge Over Troubled Water. Uh, this is a song Paul wrote earlier, a couple of years earlier, uh, in the Parsley Sage, Rosemary, and Time era, and uh, just hung on to for a little while, for who knows exactly why. Um, didn't research that enough. Um, very unusual for a Paul Simon song in that it opens up and includes a riff. Do, 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 really cool riff. So we're going to take a look at the riff. Um, when he played, it's, it's, it was done on a 12 string and usually when they play it live, it's done on a 12 string. Paul doesn't usually play the riff if, uh, I mean, he does maybe the first time he kind of fumbles through it and then he doesn't play it while they're singing or, or anything else. So if he has a band, he's got, you know, a hot shot guitar player that'll do that for him. We're going to look at a fairly simple way of playing it, but also a way of bringing in some of the stuff that we really hear on the studio recording. Um, some of the little variations. <laughs> Kind of stuff and working in the bass line that happens on one of the chords only a few chords involved it's played with a capo at the fifth fret but we're also going to talk about i'll have a segment later on um, of playing it without the capo and just playing it in the same key by using a different set of chords it's not much harder it does include a b flat chord with so if you're uncomfortable with the hinge bar version of the a family of chords uh you're better off capo in this whole thing anyway uh it works out works out much better so uh coming up a lesson on a hazy shade of winter <laughs> 